It's a fascinating story, what you did, because essentially you broke the rules, you snuck into Coachella, and you've had this amazing career blossom. It's a lot of people's fantasy, you know, that I could just break in somewhere or sneak in somewhere, and it could change my whole life around. It really worked for you. Yeah, somehow, some way, uh, I'm sitting on Conan right now. This is crazy. You're not sitting on Conan. Well, You're on the Conan. It's, it's not That's for later. Uh, <laughs> You gotta pay the price, man. Um, settle down, gang. Um, uh, you sneak into Coachella at 2010, and initially, y you did it primarily because of a girl. Is that right? Yeah, kind of. I really wanted to hear the music, and I love these bands that were playing so much, and there happened to be this girl that I was really into who was gonna be there, so it was kind of like, the cherry on top. It was like, I had to get there because Right, all that. which is good, because there's always a, a it's, it's, that's a real motivating factor. If there's a girl you want to impress or see, uh, you use cameras as props. That was key to, we just saw that clip, to getting you through the gates. Yeah, I've used so many different ways to get into, into festivals. One of those ways is using cameras as a prop, walking and talking like you're a press photographer, and, and uh, just trying to play it off like you're meant to be there. Right, so because what it is is they quickly, they see so many press people with cameras that that initially just helped you get by. And then you actually took some photographs, and here's the thing that I think separates you. You didn't just use them as props, you started taking photographs. The cameras uh, worked, obviously, and you took some amazing shots. You got this shot of Jay-Z, and it got you a lot of attention. You actually, did you, you this, get this photo, photo published? Is that right? Well, yeah, uh, someone on Facebook who was an intern at Bonnaroo saw it and gave it to the boss, and they reached out to me saying, could we use this photo as uh, promotional or something? I had no idea what they are gonna use it for. Right. And then, um, and then that led me to, to hitchhike out to Bonnaroo and, and ended up having to sneak into Bonnaroo as well. Wait. <laughs> well, at what point, did you sneak in here today or were you invited? <laughs> But it seems like you're taking really good photographs, you're getting known for it, and you're, you're actually known for documenting things well. So at some point, you're gonna start really getting invited. Yes. That's and good. I was, yeah, it, it, that did happen. I was good. really lucky to be invited by one of my favorite bands to go on this crazy uh, train tour across the country. Yeah, this is what happened. You, get, uh, you, you fall in with Mumford and Son. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you become friends with them. Mm -hmm. And you end up taking, is this right? You took their album cover? Yes. The photo? Yes. After we, do we have that album cover photo? You took this photo. <laughs> yeah. That's in. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, 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 to me, I, it's so hard to, you know, I, I started off as a fan that loved this music so much and jumped a bunch of fences to see it. And to fast forward a couple years of going on tour with them to them asking me to take the album cover that went on to, you know, win the Grammy and everything else, like it's, it's, I, you know, still, it's hard to believe, really.